At our I-Team investigating the Metra squeeze, and maybe you've been in it. Commuter trains just packed with passengers. Consumer investigator Jason Knowles looking into complaints now about some trains being standing room only, and they've been that way for months. Jason's here with some answers. Alan, for months, Metra drivers have been experiencing their own type of traffic jam, crammed commuter trains, people being squeezed in during the morning commute. The I-Team wanted to know how often this was happening and why. Listen closely as this Metra conductor makes an announcement about a car shortage. He's letting riders know that once again his train is overcrowded. Let's just consider this the new norm for now. And that problem has been causing a commuter crunch. They indicated they were short of cars and things are going to be crowded for a while. It's mostly during rush hours, riders of shortened trains fill the aisles, often standing their entire ride. It's not fun after a long day. The problem is worse during winter months. Metra says icy conditions, which have stretched into April, force them to reduce the number of cars. Defects on the wheels were the number one culprit. This is something that we see every winter. Um, so the wheels themselves uh, get defects on it. They're inspected every single day. And then if the inspection reveals that the car has to come out of service and that train would come in with a car short. We wanted to know how often trains are short. So the ABC 7i team filed a Freedom of Information Act request, but we received information for only five of the 11 Metro lines. And even that information was incomplete. Traveling from Aurora to Union Station, the BNSF Railway has the highest number of riders. In January alone, BNSF trains were short cars a total of 154 times. Those are one-way trips either to or from downtown. More than half run during rush hour. February was worse. 262 BNSF trains made one-way trips down a car. The worst day was February 23rd, when 48 one-way trips were short. Metra says they're short on spare cars. We have a very low spare ratio of, uh, of both uh, locomotives and cars. The more spares you have, the, the, the quicker you can pull things out and, and replace them. I'm sure you can understand the frustration from riders. What do you want to say to riders? Hang in there. We actually have a request for proposal on the street that we're evaluating to uh, look at purchase of uh, some new cars. It's, it, it'd be a small amount compared to the vast need that we have. I'd like to see it uh, not be that way, particularly since the, the rates keep going up. That's right. Ticket prices increased in 2018, the fourth year in a row, as well as new service cuts. The I-Team asked about the car shortage on Metra's six other lines, but Metra told us they don't keep track of that information. We don't track short trains on a, on a daily basis. They, they work very hard every single day to make sure that any short trains get cars put back in there. And we were given only partial data on Union Pacific lines. During 21 days in February, 272 trains made one-way trips to the city short a car, an average of 12 per day. The onboard radios have just been delivered. Adding to this year's weather issues was a federal mandate requiring train cars to be fitted with a safety mechanism called positive train control. We did purchase some cars. That's going to add another seven to our spares. So a combined somewhere in a 10 to 14 range we should have available for next winter. But Metro riders we talked to say the rails need to be better prepared to keep up with commuters needs. This is Chicago, you know, <laughs> since when since when does the weather stop anything here? You know, we keep running. That's what we do. Metra says the safety upgrades are finished, so that should not impact commuters next year. And remember, Metra says those extra dozen cars or so should also help to improve the situation. But they say they will still need even more backup cars to really make a difference. Mm -hmm. And as we know, Chicago winners are rough. <laughs> yes, they are. <laughs> okay. yeah. Jace, thanks.